First year at Sentinels was definitely uh, bumpy. As a team, we definitely had a long way to go. I'm still really hungry. I just want to win. It's not all good, it's not all bad. It's a process. My name is Zach Patron. My in-game name is Zekin. I grew up in New Jersey. I'm 18 years old. And this is my story. I played basketball um, all throughout middle school and freshman year of high school, and I stopped when COVID hit. My school had basketball tryouts, and me and my friends all did it together because we thought it'd be fun. Just playing basketball throughout like school, and then playing eventually AAU like in the summertime. Also, it was like addicting. I just loved it. <laughs> this is the nicest part about the players do this whenever I fucking want. He's really a player, he likes all kinds of sports. When he was young, he did Taekwondo when he was four years old, and then he became a black belt, like 10 or 12, and then he got bored. <laughs> so he, uh, he joined the summer camp for basketball, and then um, he did AAU um, tournament or a tryout. It's a lot of trainings for him. Like he, They wake up like 6 a.m. to do the training and everything. He's very athletic at that time. The AAU team that I played on, our, the whole thing about our team is that we were pretty small, but we were more skilled and played harder than everyone else. If you give everything you have and you end up better anyways, it doesn't matter what disadvantage you're at, you can still win a game. I think those are the things that I remember more about basketball than just like a highlight or something. He became a varsity player, and I think on the sixth or eighth grade they won the championship even though Zach is not that tall he's so fast <laughs> and it's easy for him to shoot the ball so today I'm gonna be doing a little how I play video with poison should be some fun I think I was like four or five and uh, in summer camp some kid brought in a Wii for all of us to play and I played like Mario Kart and like Wii Sports for the first time like, I think that Christmas, they gave me the Wii from the summer camp, and that's how I started playing games. Yes, yeah, so when he was young, and we got him the Wii game. Him and his dad are playing uh, Super Mario Kart. His dad doesn't let him win. <laughs> and Zach is a toddler, he's been crying a lot. And I got mad at my husband, he said, let him win. And then my husband said, no, he got to figure it out by himself to win. Minecraft's lead oh, right now. Move, oh, he's a trident! So fast, dude. Oh, oh my god! Oh, my god. shifter's god. down! That imagine, was an assassination. Imagine being shifter and just he comes around. I played a lot of Minecraft as a kid, and uh, there's a lot of like Minecraft people that I watched, and they quit Minecraft to start playing Counter Strike, but I kept like watching their videos, and eventually I was like, okay, I want to get Counter Strike too, and then that's how I first got into FPS games. I remember COVID had just hit, so I was at home, I had nothing to do. My friend Lance uh, told me about Valorant. He said it was a new game that was a new shooter that was coming out, and he told me you'd have to like watch different streams to get the key for it. So uh, me and my friends, we all like AFK'd our our PCs on people's streams all day until all of us got the keys, and then that's how I first started playing. So when I first started playing ranked, the first rank that I placed in was silver. Before I started Valorant, I was pretty good at FPS games, pretty much just Counter Strike though. In like the matchmaking, the highest I ever got was DMG, but I played uh, Face It a lot and I got level 10 on that and that's probably as good as I ever got at CS. The first time I hit Radiant was Act 1. It di I didn't get it in the beta. It was a fun time. Um, I, I enjoyed like my progression through the ranks. It was definitely stressful at the end though. I remember like I was so excited when I hit it for the first time. I, like it was all the stress just released at once. I was so happy. <laughs> Yeah. 
It's uh, okay. Salami. How are you? It's okay. I'm eating. Hi. <laughs> so we got garlic rice. We got some spring rolls. Something was here. I'm assuming it's that. Barbecue. Barbecue. Some veggies. Some uh, pancit. Some noodles with uh, lemon and some other stuff. Is baked bungles? Yeah, baked bungles. Baked bungles is fish, boneless, salty, favorite. really good. And uh, chicken adobo. This is the best. This is the very best. Put this, get some garlic rice, and you have like the best dinner you could ask for. In the beta, me and two of my friends, Lance and Chris, uh, we wanted to try and find a team. We were all 15 years old. We went into this Discord that was hosted by Team Liquid, and they had like looking for players and looking for teams channels. And so we all just applied to every single one of them until a team hit us back. Um, there was a team called Exertion Gaming. Their requirements were like horrible. As long as you like gold, you can join our team. And all of us were like plat. So we all applied and uh, Exertion allowed us to try out. And um, we did tryouts and then I ended up on the A team and then both of them ended up on the B team. I don't remember my teammates from that time, but that was the first team I ever joined. First year, I guess I would consider like first year being pro like from Phoenix One to like Noble. So before Exet, before Sentinels. It was pretty much the same thing the entire time, just practice and tournaments. Tier tier two and tier three was really nice at the time because there would be a new tournament to play every weekend. There's always something to like look forward to. This is a fucking throwback. Alright. Alright, so you see the Deagle skin? That's the same one I'm using right now with the same gun buddy. So there's history with this. There's history with this specific with this specific thing. Plants, but there's not too much to write home regarding this round. Never done are just gonna try to farm a couple of eco kills and well, they're oh. actually not having a good time at it. Second has gotten three tanner. The initiators have so been stuck. crazy this tournament. The Sovas have been crazy. Oh my God. Make it a fourth. How did this just become winnable, Ito? Nano Swarm doesn't matter. Sova v Sova. Oh, oh my God, he's gonna get the A! There's history with this skin, and I'm using it forever. So I'm never actually switching off of that skin. It was just a grind really for the entire year, just four or five scrims a day, and then tournament on the weekend, and then if you lose, oh well, you got practice the next day. I, I loved that period of, uh, of playing, it was so much fun. Luckily for me, when I first started playing for teams, it was in the like middle of the pandemic, so school was online. But I was able to get my schoolwork done very quickly and uh, still be able to set aside time to play and try and get better. At first it was really easy, but when, uh, like recently, when I was finishing out my senior year and everything was in person, it was hard. <laughs> my dad was always completely supportive uh, the entire time just of me playing games in general. Before I even tried to play pro or anything, my mom wasn't the biggest fan of me playing games because obviously like distracted from my schoolwork, playing sports, etc. But um, I think once she saw like how much I enjoyed playing in like a team environment, and how much I enjoyed like getting better and things like that, she came around to it. Well, I understand his situation because it's a job and he has a contract. Same time he's trying to balance the school. So I try to be supportive, like, you know, sending emails to the princi assistant principal or the teachers every time we go on tournament. I'm so thankful for my teachers. They helped me so much to uh, be able to graduate. I definitely wouldn't have been able to do it without them. It was just a big weight off my shoulders because I had these two big responsibilities in my life and I wanted to do them both to the best of my ability, but I couldn't and it kind of sucked. Once high school was done, I was so glad. I was like, I could finally put my full time into this career that I want to do. Dream come true, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. The whole playing pro is weird. I guess that's how I'd put it. Um, it's not all good. It's not all bad. It's a uh, it's a process, but uh, I, I'm enjoying it a lot. First year at Sentinels was definitely a uh, bumpy. That's how I'll put it. It was just a lot of change, very quick. I had a good individual performance last year. I think some webs I ranked me top three in terms of rating for the Americas League. Still really hungry. I just want to win an international tournament, and then when I win an international tournament, I'm pissed at myself because I know I'm just going to want to win another one, and then I'm just going to keep wanting to do that over and over again forever. So, <laughs> yeah. It's at the back of it. He has a dart online too, but the only way he really wins this is by relocating. And it has to be aggressive. Oh, it needs this, to be favored. This is so aggressive. Wide out in the open. 
Surely this is traded away! The map's secured and second is the man to do it! Left out of two, make it one. Zekken, last one standing. Beautiful movement. Placement there to isolate the 5-7. Oh, no way! Four in a row, the red ball clutch. My mindset always, when I first started playing to try and improve and be on like the same level as pros, my mindset was always like, why not me? Like what's really stopping me from being on the same level as these guys? And the more that I play, the more that like I see that to be sort of true. I think like we learned a lot that year and it's gonna be a lot of valuable experience going into next year. Try and punish some form here. MW that's a double satchel forward second, he's clearing it. Run and gun works. Sewers. There's still a minute on the clock and they have an operator. Oh. They're just looking for a pick, but they can't find one. Showstopper comes oh back in! Oh my goodness! Oh. It's a slaughter! And the Peavesy to get a move on here. Swarming into the same, and again, it's that gun advantage. All the way to set it on the second. That's, that's the perfect player to be farming up those kills. First, I'm proud of him. For such a young age, it's a good opportunity for him. I'm kind of nervous, to be honest. <laughs> Because it's not that easy, like sending your child away. Yeah, it's a mixed emotions. I'm happy, a little scared, but he's grown up and it's a job. So the kids that want to start a pro career, I would say just play as much as you possibly can. No matter what, I would always find time to play and work on my game. It's just important, you have to never stop thinking about it. You gotta be, you kinda gotta get obsessed with it a bit because if you're not playing as much as possible, putting in as many hours as possible, someone out there is. And in that case, it was me. So if you wanna make it, you have to, you have to put in that kind of time.